Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Let's begin Sagittarius. You're definitely trying. September was hard. Now we've finally reached the end of the month and I feel that you're going to make some very big changes. I feel that not only are you ready to move your life into the next phase, which is something you're going to do on your own, but I feel that you're ready to begin a new chapter. This involves family, if you have family and if you don't, you're going out there on your own, whatever it is that you're doing and whether or not someone's involved. Uh, the bottom line is you're doing this willingly, with or without anyone's help. I feel that you have had an awakening. I feel that the entire month of September was probably one of the hardest months this year. And it really got your blood boiling to, to some extent. You know, there, there was, I'm being shown a lot of tears. You come out of this sort of fear. There's something about you coming out of an ending, heading towards a new beginning. I feel you've been given advice. I feel that you may feel a little depleted you know you feel as though you're running out of energy you're, you're putting a stop to that you're going to do something about it i i'm going to talk to you about two different areas of your life or two different experiences especially when we're referring to sagittarius i want to say that there are a couple of things happening here and i'm going to talk about these um those of you who are starting a new family specifically in the month of september if this has already happened or whether it perhaps is happening to more towards the end of September and then I'm going to talk to those of you who are not in this position now for those of you not starting a family this month um, there are a lot of tears I understand that I understand that there's a lot of hurt there's a lot of pain but you're going to recover from this very quickly so I want to talk about what's actually going on here once we make that move once we decide what we're going to do to better our path because we need a solution. That's what this is about. And I feel that by the time we get to the end of September, it's about not wanting to be held back in any way. There's going to be progress made and this has everything to do with your pursuits. I feel that you could be starting up something new with perhaps with a team of people uh, they want in on whatever you're doing. They, they want to jump on board with you in relation to an idea that you have. This may have this idea may have started early on in September and now we're seeing something really progress, really fast moving as well. And there's also there's a, there's a, a lot of soul healing along with that at the same time. And what this healing is going to be helpful for is to, to cultivate a loving and respectful relationship with the body rather than dominating a situation by perhaps overthinking things. I, I feel that this is something that you have come to realize because you've done a lot of that previously. I feel that it's it's now about developing a constructive attitude towards fear. This is all to do with your emotions. You want to feel safe. You want to feel as though you can channel the vital energy of your emotions and make better decisions. Allow that to happen. You know, This is about progress and vitality and an engagement with the world. So whatever you're creating here, you're rising above and beyond. This is a brand new experience, uh, or at least it's going to feel like that. It's making you feel better than ever. If you keep out... If you keep yourself out of the loop, there's so much more that you're missing. There's so much that you're missing out on. There's so much more that you can gain from this if you stay put, if you stay strong. And and this year you'll be, you know, for the remainder of the year, but starting now, you'll be granted access in different areas. It, op it opens up more doorways so you don't feel stuck as you have been for some time now. And this will also be a period where you not, you know, you don't have to allow the people to keep you down, to keep you feeling stuck as well. There's something about people holding you down, holding you back. People who have played a very significant role in your life over the last, I want to say at least over the last five years, maybe 10 years, but I'll stick to five for now because it's really affected you um, more than anything in the last five. It's way harder to do certain things. The last five years have been really interesting, hurtful, but this is about recovery. We can no longer focus and, and on that. And, and don't look back. Don't look at what's behind you. Look at what's in front of you. In terms of health, I feel that if you're coming out of a period where you weren't well for a while and it was slowing you down, perhaps, I do see that there is recovery from all of this. We're on the road to recovery. This hasn't been easy for you. It, it has been really hard to manage feeling or being unwell as well as having to take on all the responsibilities that you have taken on because you've been so busy um eventually it caught up with you i am getting something about your right leg you're limping as well um getting a message about water you don't drink enough of it thank you sagittarius